Bulls with an opportunity here. They've got numbers and they're running towards goal. Epps on the move outside the 18 and off his line to snatch it away is Scott Levine. Sent him with the right foot. Still loose. In the box, it's fisted down and it is saved by Scott Levine. Masera, the sophomore out of Venezuela, had an opportunity. Well, beautiful individual skill from Epps on that far sideline that created that chance for USF. That ball took an age to come down for Masera to get an opportunity. He had great patience. Didn't really put a lot of purchase on the ball, but he made the important decision. I'm going to make Levine make a save. The goalkeeper did so very nicely, getting down, getting his body behind the ball, and importantly, not giving up a rebound. That by squads and chances are not are at a premium, and we just see the physical contact there. Here's Epps, beautiful run across the face of him was Beckett opening the space, taking the defender with him. But you have to give credit to Ackroy for getting back on terms, goal side to make the tackle. UConn on the attack. This was their best opportunity. Brems wide open in the box. And if it wasn't for Riley, I think it was for USF coming in to put pressure on the central midfielder for UConn, I think he probably would have scored. And there's Stefanovic easily handling the high ball. Epps again. He's created a lot down the right-hand side for USF. Trying to find Bartram, I think it was on that occasion, did a decent job getting into the passing lanes, trying to exploit things. But the goalkeeper, Levine, did a great job as well. And then just bodies flying all over the place and the challenges. So good defensive matchup. There's been some opportunities. It's going to be going to have probably take a moment of magic, I think, to unlock this <laughs> puzzle for either UConn or USF. Also, won it. Is this an opportunity here? Fed in, chipped, and just wide. Oh, Beckett. They are ready to celebrate here in Tampa. And a couple, as they saw it hit the side of the net, got on their feet. That was as you were. Ball played vertically up the pitch, a diagonal run, just as you want them to do as a coach. Mustafasen still has it in the danger area. Across, a shot and a goal! The Huskies strike first. Sebastian Brims with a rocket. Great job from Mustafa San, getting down the left flank, rode the challenges, and then found Brems at the top of the box. He puts his right foot through the back of the ball, touched by the goalkeeper. There was so much power in that shot of UConn. But that should, by default, open some space for UConn to exploit. God, they got another! Becca Jim Thyme! Oh, wow! Two nothing UConn on top well that really came out of nowhere it seems so innocuous and the shot was from outside of the box Stefanovic the goalkeeper will want that one back and anybody who's a fan of the Karate Kid movies from the 80s will be saying he was waxing on when he should have been waxing off oh that was because it allowed Connecticut the chance to move their defensive line Epps across, an opportunity in front. It's still not cleared. And finally, the Huskies clear the danger. And Fekka finds it at his feet, a bending ball and another save. The Bulls with their first goal of the night. They need one more now. When the ball is placed that close to the penalty box, it's hard to get it up and hard to get it down. So the leading goal scorer from USF, Bartram, cleverly puts that one in. Beautifully played. You see the goalkeeper, Levine, cheating to his left. The ball went to his right. But it's touched. This wasn't clean enough, but here's Epps playing it across. Oh, a header. But it's well offline. USF thought that they might have a chance to celebrate the championship at home. But instead, the match is set. It'll be UConn taking on Tulsa for the conference championship Sunday at 2.